Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again. We're continuing our study skills series for grade seven. This show is dedicated to Derek F. Our topic today we're going to talk about is square roots and exponents. All right, Derek, this one is for you. Remember, if you need help with your homework, there's Dial a Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Watch my tutorial YouTube videos. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Please subscribe to my channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing, if we're helping or not. Write us a comment. Or write us a comment what we can do to improve. Check out our new release. There's a commercial called PKMS Math Prep 20. It's a good movie. Check it out. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. Watch our show Math Time on Tuesdays from 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m on Optimum Cable Vision, Channel 15, only in Peekskill. All right, let's get into our topic. We're gonna talk about today squaring. So squaring, and I'm looking at, I see an X with a little two on top and an X times an X there, so that looks very, very interesting. All right, so let's get going, Dr. Rob. All right, so we're, our vocabulary, we have an A, a little B equals to a C. What are these letters called? So let's look at the A first. A is called the base. That's the big number on the bottom, it seems. There's a little B up here. What is that called? That's called the exponent. The exponent tells you how many times to write the big number. So it's in charge of the big number. So the exponent is a little number. The base is the big number. So it's going to be equal to C. Well, what's C called? The power. Power. That's going to be the answer to an exponential question. So the answer to exponents is called power. All right. We learned some new words. Base, exponent, and power. So when we have a to the b equal to c, that would be like saying 5 to the second power equals 5 times 5, because the little number, the exponent, tells us how many times to write the big number twice. So I'm writing the big number 5 two times, and I'm going to multiply that. And that will give me 25 when I multiply 5 times 5. So that's what exponents do. So it tells you how many times to write the big number. So as many times you as many as many times you see the big number, that's how many times you'll write the I'm sorry, as many times as you see the little number, that's how many times you'll write the big number and multiply it to give you your power or answer. Okay. So let's identify the parts of the equation. So I have three to the second power equals to box. So the arrow is pointing at the two. All right, Derek, which one do you think the little two is called? Is it A, base, B, exponent, or C, power? Ah, you remember the little number on top is called the uh, exponent? So B is correct. So that's the exponent. Tells you how many times to write this big number. So I'm going to take this big number, three, and I'm going to write it two times. And that's going to be an expanded form. So 3 times 3, that's going to equal to my answer that goes in the box. And what's 3 times 3, Derek? 9 is correct. So there is an expanded form when we have an exponent of 2. So nice job, Derek. Here's another one for you. Identify this, this part of the equation. This time they're pointing into the box, and we have a 6 to the second power. So they want the answer. What is it equal to? And remember, the answer is called the what, Derek? 
That's right, power, you got it. That's letter C. So what's the answer? Six to the second power. Oh, you know that? All right, write it on the expanded form. That'll be six. You're gonna write times six, and let me put that over, over there. And that'll be your expanded form because you wrote the, the big number two times. Six times six equals, yes, right, Derek, 36. Okay. Here's one for you. What do you think that number is, the big four? And if you said base, if that was the only one left, good. But remember, it's the big number that's underneath the little number. And I'm going to leave it for you to figure out what's the answer for this one so the four is called a the base nice job when we are using that two that's called squaring as the exponent so when the exponent is two we're called it's called squared or squaring like example five to the letter number two that's squared we call it five squared also pronounced to the, to the second power. We could say five to the second power. So that's just another way of saying it. So if you hear people say five to the second power or five squared, they're talking about an exponent of two. I hope you understand what's going on so far. If you're not sure, write down your questions, bring them in. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Oh, challenge problem. Find the answer to the following. Two to the exponent of three, Derek. What would that be equal to? So this is a nice challenge problem for you. So hopefully you'll be able to expand it and figure it out. Good luck. I hope you enjoyed our video. So if you need help with your homework, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380. Give them a call. Those are good people, good teachers that'll help you out and they will get you the answer to whatever you need and whatever subject you're having problems with. Don't forget, watch my YouTube videos. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Subscribe to my channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. If you would make a comment, I would do write you back. So let me know how I am doing. Check out our new release. It's a video commercial of PKMS Math Prep 20. Tweet me at DRobMath1. Check out our show Math Time on Tuesdays, 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision Channel 15, only in Peekskill. Don't forget our show Math Prep 20 is coming out soon, so look for it. So I hope you enjoyed this study skills video of square roots and exponents dedicated to my good friend and good student, Derek F. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.